2.0. He's going to be fighting for one championship this week. Tomorrow, you've got so many different fighters. Sadiq Yusuf as well. Like I said, there are so many different fighters that come from Africa that have so much talent. Some of this talent hasn't even been tapped into yet. And there haven't been any shows in Africa at all when it comes to these major mixed martial arts organizations. There have been shows put on in Africa by minor organizations. These are basically grassroots organizations that fighters go to in order to get to the big leagues. This organization is Aries FC. Obviously, Aries FC hasn't been able to hold any events because of the pandemic. They literally just got started. And after their first show, the coronavirus hit a couple months later, which was an absolute shame. So obviously, that organization is put on hold. That organization right there is basically the gateway for African fighters to get into the UFC, Bellator, one championship. They already got one of their fighters in one of those major promotions, one championship itself with Rugru. And also the PFL, Professional Fighters League. I believe that the PFL is going to be the closest promotion out of those four to get into the African market and really be able to tap into the potential and grab as many African mixed martial artists from the continent that train and fight out of Africa out of the rest. Because they plan on holding a worldwide season. Now, obviously, as you all know, the PFL goes by seasons. They go by this little tournament platform where you need a certain amount of points to move on to the next level. You've got a regular season, the playoffs, and the finals. Obviously, the way it goes is that you win three points if you win your fight, but if you finish it in the first round, you get three extra points for six points. If you finish it in the second round, you get two extra points for five points, and then you, if you finish it in the third round, you get one extra point for four points, and then you need a certain amount of points to get into the playoffs. And then during the playoffs, you got to fight twice in one night to get into the finals. And it's a beautiful thing. It really is. And they plan on holding that type of season that, they, that they're basically holding here in the United States right now all around the world. So they want there to be a PFL Latin America that'll be basically centered around Central and Southern American countries. And then you've also got the PFL Europe, which they want to have centered around the European countries. PFL Asia. And then... PFL Africa. So they want all these different tournaments to come up with all these different champions so they can really be one true champion of the world, which is what I really like to see. Obviously, giving all these people different opportunities to be able to fight one another so these people don't have to leave their home continent, their home country, and go so far away to the United States of America to fight maybe one or two fights and then get bounced out of the tournament and go back home. So obviously, I really like that idea. And the CEO has actually said it as well. They're working on it. And they got sixty-five, about $65 million over the past couple of months, which is gigantic because $65 million is a lot of money that the PFL can use to really utilize their brand, utilize their organization, and really spread out the sport of mixed martial arts. And I think they've got the best chances of getting into Africa. I believe the UFC could have done it a little while ago just because of the increase of African fighters that are joining the roster by the month, by the days. And they just haven't done it so far. I have no idea why. I believe they could have done it even before the pandemic. But like I said, it's a hard it's a hard market to crack into. And if you can pull off any events in Africa, that would be amazing. Like I said, the Democratic Republic of Congo is one of the most underrated countries in Africa, and they got the largest French-speaking country in the world. They are also they also house the largest French-speaking city in the world, more than Paris, which is absolutely insane. And then you've got Nigeria, you got South America, you've got Egypt, and you got Algeria, and you've also got Ghana and Somalia and all these different countries that have money. They have money. Angola is another country that has a lot of money. Africa is rich with different resources, oil, petroleum, which has caused a lot of these different countries to evolve over the years to the point where they can have, they can house UFC events, where they can have major mixed martial arts organizations come in, utilize their market, and bring more money in, and not only to their shows, but also to the economies of their countries. So obviously... There haven't been any shows in Africa besides Aries FC, and we need to change that. More mixed martial arts organizations need to go to Africa and really expand the sport in that continent because they've basically done it everywhere else. 
And Africa isn't, like I said, it isn't the only country that needs the mixed martial arts to be expanding in. You've got different major countries out there, such as Kazakhstan and India and uh, certain countries in so South America as well that really needs mixed martial arts to expand there, you know what I mean? But like I said, I just wanted to talk about this topic because I thought, I think, I believe, I have faith that one of those major mixed martial arts organizations, whether it's a UFC, Bellator, PFL, One Championship, will be able to go there and really utilize the African market, spread the sport of mixed martial arts, and give more people in Africa the chance to change their lives, to follow their dreams, and to really help their families out at the end of the day, just like all these other fighters are right now all around the world. Appreciate you guys for watching this video. What do you guys think? Where should any of these organizations house their first event in Africa? Should it be in South Africa? Should it be in the Democratic Republic of Congo? Should it be in Liberia? Should it be in, should, should it be in Morocco or Egypt, Algeria? Should it be in Senegal? Should it be in any of these countries? Let me know in the comment section below. Like, subscribe, you guys know the deal. Appreciate you guys for watching the video as always without you. And I wouldn't really be here, to be honest. So, later, guys.